For practice it, exercise 2.24, two rectangles, we need to write a program that gives us this output. So we have a public class two rectangles, and we are going to need a string or a um, main method in here. It'll be public static void main with string arguments. And now that we have all of this set up, we can start getting into our code. So first, we look at the instruction, and it's asking us to use two integer class constants called width and height. So we'll have a public static final int width, and it wants us to set width equal to 7, and a public static final height equal to 4. We can use this to write our code. So in here, we are going to have two for loops, one that prints all of this out, and then one that prints all of that out. So we'll have our for loop for the first part, and this is going to be int, we'll call this rows, and this is going to equal 0. Rows is going to run as long as it is less than the height. So we'll say rows plus plus. And in here, we can start now looking at our lines, our columns of output. We have seven stars, which correlates to the width. So now that we have our height here, we are now looking at the width. So we can say four, int, and we will just write columns. Set that equal to zero. This is going to run as long as columns is less than 7. We'll do columns plus plus. And inside of here, what we're going to print out is our stars. We'll do a system.out.print star. Every time this executes, we will be in one row and we will print this star out seven times. After we print out our star, we need a system out dot print line we need a new line so we can move on to the next row and then after we have that we can start looking at this portion right here it's going to be very similar so we can just copy this code and then modify it so the rows are going to be the same and for our columns first we are, we are not going to have star we're going to have a space like this and then after we have our spaces we will have a, another for loop and this for loop is going to run for a specific amount of width which we are given as 7 and in fact this should not be 7 this should just be width since these are both 7 and this is going to be int and we can call this columns again because this is still dealing with the columns set it equal to 0 and we'll say columns is less than width, and we'll do columns plus plus. And inside of our for loop, we will have a system.out.print and stars. So we can submit this. See that we need a um, semicolon right there and we need a declaring int right there. You can try submitting it again, and of course we need to spell something correctly. I did not spell columns correctly right here. So if we re-spell that, we can see that we've passed the tests. To do a summary of this, we have our public static finals, then we have our main method, we have a for loop that prints out every single row. Instead of our for loop, we need to print out the columns. So we have a star here, and it's going to print out the width, which is seven. It's going to go on a new line for right here. It's going to print out the stars again, and it's going to keep going four times, and then it's gonna break out of this loop, and then go into this next portion where it prints out the width of seven spaces and then prints out the width of seven stars 
hits a new line, and then does the same thing four more times. So this is the code that we need to produce the output we are given.